Hello guys! I know you like AK-105, today I will tell you about different setup options of this wonderful rifle. I will focus on handguards, short versions, long versions, which top handguards are compatible with which bottom handguards, speak about other rails, which combinations are possible, make different setups and weight them. My name is Anastasia, I would like to make a point here that everything I tell today in terms of compatibility of parts with each other works not only for 105, but for 104 as well, for AKs with longer barrel and for rifles based on AK. So I tell you about principles of compatibility of parts on an example of AK-105. Also, as you see, there are no aiming devices installed here, only rails, I will focus on rails. But we keep in mind that one of primary goals of rails is to create mounting position for aiming devices. And as far as we want our aiming devices to hold zero, this mounting position should be very, very reliable. What is installed on this AK-105? Following Zenitka products. Sport 1 kit, B33 dust cover, PT1 buttstock, RK9 pistol grip, RP1 charging handle, DTK2 muzzle brake. What other options are possible? I suggest to draw this AK-105 first. My happy little 105 is ready, I think looks alike, and we will start with handguards. This point. There are two options, longer variant and shorter variant. Spot 1 kit is a longer variant, shorter variant is this one. So two possible options. First long one, like this, short one, like this. They consist of different parts. For example, Sport 1 kit includes following main parts B10L handguard, DL1 additional attachment and B31L upper Handguard. So, handguard number one, additional attachment number two, upper handguard number three. As far as the short version, it also consists of number one, because for example B10L handguard can be used on its own without DL1 additional attachment as a short variant. And an upper handguard, it will be number four because it's different in length from number three. So it's another path. We'll start with the longer option. What's on the bottom? Here. One plus two. It's either B10L handguard plus DL1 additional attachment, like in Sport 1 kit, or other handguards B30 and B30U. B30 has Picatinny rails on sides and on the bottom, B30U has a Picatinny rail on the bottom, basis rails on sides and a small Picatinny rail on the side. Next, top part. Also various options are possible. Sport 1 kit includes B31L top handguard, but you can install, for example, B31 as top handguard instead of it. Also one 
more option exists B 31 N B 31 L from Sport 1 kit has a lowered top picketing array B 31 S has a full size top picketing array it can be installed instead of this one and uh, B31N has a lowered top picatinny rail, just like B31N. The difference is the number of legs, these parts that combine top and bottom parts. B31L from Sport Kit has eight legs, and this has six legs. That's why this one, B31N, is not recommended for Sport Kit because six legs is not enough to combine two bottom parts but it's enough to combine one part, so it's compatible with B30 and B30U. I will show that on rifle a little bit later. So now theory, practice will be in this video as well. Next, short options. Number one, we've spoken about B10L handguard it can be used on its own without the sport kit also B 10 U and B 10 M handguards exist B 10 M has picatinny rails on all sides on the bottom on sides B 10 U has basis rails on sides and picatinny rail on bottom and top handguards that are compatible with these bottom options are B19 and B19N. B19 has a full size top picatinny rail, B19N has a lowered top picatinny rail. Now I suggest to look at this but closer. I will start with long options, Sport 1 kit. Instead of B31L top handguard, you can use B31S top handguard. It has a full size top picatinny rail, so they can be exchanged. Next, bottom handguards B30U or B30. B30 and B30U are compatible with B31S top handguard, B31N top handguard with lowered top picatinny rail, and if you already own Sport 1 kit and have B31L top handguard, it also can be installed on B30 and B30U. The only difference is the number of legs. It has two more legs than B 31 N, so two legs heavier, but everything else is the same, so there is compatibility. I suggest to wait this setup right now. After that, I will exchange B 31 L on B 31 S, and we will wait it again. I will wait without a magazine. One oh five in sport one kit. Three kilos six hundred and forty four grams. Now I will exchange B thirty one L on B thirty one S. Taking off B31L, installing B31S. 
I will not install screws for demonstration purposes. That's enough. And let's wait this setup as well. And also side rail and screws. Three kilos, six hundred and fifty nine grams. I'd like to make one more point here. We also have B thirty one upper handguard. It is not compatible with one oh five because it is for rifles with longer barrel. The top Picatinny rail on B31 is longer than on B31S. And now I suggest to switch to shorter options. I will not show how to install B30 and B30U long handguards in this video. I already made a separate video about it. I will leave a link in the description. Now we switch to short option. B10L handguard is installed. Instead of it, you can install B10U handguard or B10M handguard. On top of them, you can install either B19 top handguard with a full size top Picatinny rail or B19N with lowered top Picatinny rail. I suggest to install B19N and wait this setup. The weight with short handguard is 3 kilos 550 grams. There are more options left. Now we will switch to this part. Now B33 dust cover is installed on the rifle. Instead of it, we can install B22 rear sight rail. So they have the same mounting place. Also, dovetail joint rail can be installed. That is B13 rail. So now I will take B33 dust cover and install B22 instead of it. B22 rear sight rail. I made a video about it, we'll also leave a link in the description. It creates a reliable mounting position for a red dot and leaves iron sight open. Weight in setup with short handguard is 
3 kilos, 511 grams. And if we use it together with B13 side rail, total weight will be 3 kilos, 684 grams. Are there other options? Surely there are. For example, we can use other but stock PT3 instead of PT1. We can use other pistol grip RK3 instead of RK9. We can use different muzzle brake DTK1 instead of DTK2. In Russia also shadow devices are available, shadow 1, shadow 2, shadow 3. I will make a separate review about them. So a lot of options and combinations. Sounds like a math problem. How many different combinations of setup can you do with Zenitka products? Numerous. Honestly, I didn't count, but there are a lot of options for different situations and different goals. And all of those products can be ordered from us either on our website en.zenitko.ru or in partner stores. See the list of official partners on en.zenitko.ru in partners section. Press the like button if you like the video and AK105. Write how much you like it in the comment section and follow our channel. We plan a lot of videos about new Vzor 1 Red Dot very soon, so stay with us. Goodbye!